Able Innovations Alta platform really came to life to solve a clinical problem for hospitals in three areas. So patient safety and better patient transfers, uh, staff safety, ensuring that staff are able to be working and having the tools required to safely transfer patients. And finally, um, staff efficiency. So how staff can use this platform to uh, do transfers by themselves rather than the classical two, two staff or more to transfer a patient. The ABLE Innovations team first conceptualized the idea for a robotic patient bed. They then partnered with a researcher at Briere to further develop that idea into a prototype. Uh, we've been working with Briere for two and a half years now. Uh, we started with a small juvenile prototype uh, with really just a concept of what we think a might product might look like. And very early on, even with our concept, we got very direct and very straightforward feedback on what our product might look like once it got to full scale. The real world problem that the Alta is trying to address is that currently it takes at least two staff to be in the room to transfer the patient and the Alta can allow for a single caregiver transfer. In addition, patients experience stress on their body from the slings that are used and the Alta can reduce that as well. I believe that uh, using the Alta is going to be very helpful to our unit. One person only can do by themselves transferring the patient and then also it will help to prevent more injury of the patient. In addition, even in the last four months, I'd say, as we brought our product to the market and uh, over to Breer's Hospital, um, you guys have been tremendously supportive in the sense of even just providing something as simple as space. Um, having a space to work in that we can get access to something as simple as providing us with different types of beds. It seems like a small thing, but for us, it makes our iteration process and our testing and our validation happen that much faster. The ceiling lift, if you're a male, can be a lot more uh, tightening. Uh, on the ultra lift, when everything runs smoothly with the ultra lift, it's very easy to get uh, onto it and you don't feel any strain. The only place I had the first time I was I had volunteered for it was in my my knees and ankles. So they readjusted it and the second time they came back, all of a sudden it was all gone. But there's really nothing like hitting the front line and actually interacting with patients and nurses. Um, and that's been tremendous for us. We've been able to implement additional modalities in our, in our transfer functions. Uh, we've been able to improve our workflows and our human machine interfaces. Um, and it's helped us iterate that much faster, um, much faster than we could if we were trying to set up simulations and things like that back home. As I said, the only way you to make things better is by trial and error sometimes. There has to be somebody willing to do what I just finished doing to get something that is more beneficial for everybody. Just because I'm a little more broken than I used to be, uh, I'm still willing to put up with whatever has to go with it so it can get to that stage so that it will not be a problem for people in the future. So the staff here has been tremendous. The, as I said, the access, um, being able to have dedicated facilities that we know if we need to test something or if we need to come on site, and get access to staff and get feedback from patients. Um, like I said, we can't really put a price on that. It's been invaluable to us and our journey so far.